Now I'm going to show you how to set up any radio running OpenTX to fly a simulator. Starting off with the Jumper T16, let's turn it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Press and hold this rocker wheel to get to model select. Press and hold it again, create a model. Select plane. It does have a motor, so don't click on that actually. Change this to channel 1. And then press page to get to the next one. And I want to do one or two with Y cable for the number of ailerons. Click on that, and I'm changing this to channel two. Page to the next one. No, it does not have flaps. And this is fine, so I'm going to change this to channel three. And down here it says, no, I need to change something. You can click on that and scroll to the right to say, yes, all is well, create the plane, and then press return to exit. Then we can exit out of there and hold down model to get to this window and if you click on this you can change the name so I'm just going to call this sim if I can figure out how to spell it and then these ones you can just scroll to the left to get rid of them and then hit return when you're done so then the next thing we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom or you can just scroll backwards to get to the bottom and make sure internal and external RF are off because when you're playing a simulator it's plugged into USB so you don't need your module to be broadcasting anything so it'll save you a little bit of battery and if you don't want all your switches in the and by default all your switches are away from you. So if you turn it on and like say this switch is towards you, it'll yell at you that this switch is not where it's supposed to be. So if you want it, your switch is to be in a different position. I like these three towards me instead of away from me. You can go here and put all the switches how you want them and then press and hold on that. And you can see it changed these three to be toward me. Then you can page to the inputs tab and notice I went past it. I actually did that on purpose because I wanted to show you something. If you long press page you can go back a tab instead of having to do the whole way around again. So I'm going to come down to number five press and hold on it and I'm going to change this to arm long pressing to make a capital letter Ah. and return to get out of that. I'm going to change the source to my arm switch. So when this one's forward, I want it to be armed. And return twice, three times to get out of there. Now I'm going to go down to number six, hold that. Press and hold to get in here. I'm going to make this be my reset button. Switch, whatever it is. So I'm just going to title it. Reset. Return. And I'm going to make this one be this switch right here. So you can return out of that and then page to the mixer tab and just press and hold to create it and then you can just exit again because so, it just has to create those two mixes so now we should be done you can return out of that the QX7S is going to be basically the same in model setup as any other FR Sky radio or even the T16 for that matter welcome to OpenTX oh, I'm gonna breeze through this one pretty quick so you can press the menu button uh, hover over the model you want, create model, multi for multi rotor. So page, 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 enter to confirm, and page to go into this. I'm just going to call it sim ug.
I'm going to go... Then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom, or just scroll... Counterclock? Yeah, counterclockwise to get to the bottom without having to go the whole way around. And I'm going to go up to the internal RF, click on the mode, and turn it off. Because if I'm playing a simulator, it's plugged into USB, and it doesn't need the module to be transmitting anything. So I'm just going to turn it off to save battery, T16. You know what, I'm going to do that again. So now that's done, I'm going to scroll to the left, counterclockwise, to get to the bottom. And I'm going to go up to the mode, where it says D16, scroll to the left to turn that off. Get out of there, whoops, I went too far, and now I'm going to page to inputs, do the same thing. Okay, now I'm going to mixer. Just create them. Now you should be ready to fly a simulator with your radio. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I will try and help you out. If you plug in your USB cord, and you try and go fly your simulator, and it doesn't do anything, there. There could be a few reasons that it's doing this. One is drivers, which I'll put a link to in the description of how to fix that if it is a driver's issue. But the first thing you want to check is if the USB connection is in the right mode. So press and hold on the menu button, and then go the whole way down to the to get to radio setup. Then go to the whole way down to the bottom, and here where it says USB mode, if it's set to SD card, then when you plug in a USB cord, it's letting the computer read the SD card in the radio so that you can back up your models and stuff. But that also means that you can't use it as a joystick to fly the simulator. So if you click on this and change it to ask, then when you plug in your USB cord, it'll ask you if you want to use it as a USB joystick for flying simulator or USB storage to get to the SD card. So you can just select USB joystick and then It should work. Anyway, the other thing is if it does the whole thing in the right side of the stick, but if I move it to the left, it goes back around and does nothing. So the way to fix that, and if you're running 2.3, OpenTX 2.3 or later, you should be fine. You shouldn't have to do this. But if it, if you're running, and I would, I would recommend you upgrade, but if you're running OpenTX 2.2 or earlier, then the way to fix that is to go into the Mixer tab, and for all of your inputs, edit it, and change it to weight of 50, and offset of 50. So basically what that's doing is it's taking the top half of the stick and making that the whole stick. So you can see here, and I changed it on throttle, so you can see here the throttle is now working perfectly. Alright, that's the end of this video. Bye!